front stop to this, the launch of Iris Live. We're like the new Richard and Judy, me and you, aren't we? What are you looking forward to this week? Gosh, I don't think I can tell you, not on this uh, live television broadcast. Mm. Oh, and that singer Anne Harrod. Things I'd let him do to me. I'm looking forward to watching all of the films at the festival, and that's got nothing to do with me being contractually obliged to remain impartial. The special thing about Irish is what it does in terms of pushing boundaries and giving a, a platform to different voices from all over the world. As a Cardiffian, just so proud that our capital city gets to host such an amazing event. It was a real vintage year at 2019, a great year. We've had some brilliant, brilliant, brilliant films. It's been really good like talking to lots of different people and like meeting a lot of the different people because all of the organisers are really interested and they're really passionate about the festival. It's amazing to watch the, the festival grow. It's definitely reaching a younger audience, it seems, which is fantastic, and I think what the festival needs. And it's just nice to know that it's doing well and, and that the, the public in Cardiff respond so well to it. I've loved seeing so many LGBT stories in one place. It usually is such like a difficult project to find stories that I can relate to, and to have them all here in the span of five days is just incredible. It seems to be a really great festival. Everyone's very friendly. It seems to be a really close family, good community where everyone's welcome. Everyone here is treated more as family than as anything else. Everyone's very close and friendly. And it's just really nice to see everyone hugging and getting along very well. It's fantastic that Irish has grown and now has such a diversity of, of films. What makes Iris different from the other festivals is that it's a smaller city and therefore um, you kind of like get to know a lot of people in a short amount of time just because it's small and intimate and I really like that about Iris. Iris is just so warm and welcoming and obviously Bedouin goes around and makes a huge effort with everybody. We need to have a word with Iris because I think they're taking the saving money a bit too far. <laughs> <laughs>